And welcome back to Subculture After Dark. Well, we're going to take a look now at a brand new album that is out called Wrath of the Witch. It comes from a German death metal band called Corrosive. It's their seventh album, but this is an album with a little bit of a difference because it is actually a concept album. So we thought to find out a little bit more about this amazing album, we would actually get Sasha from Corrosive on the phone right now. Welcome to the program, Sasha. Hi. Now, Sasha, tell us... It's nice to be here. <laughs> tell us a little bit about Wrath of the Witch and how this concept for this album came together. Okay. It's a... You say it, it's a concept album. It's a, a, a witch story. And it was... I, we have on our Nourished by Blood album a song that's called Notzucht der Hexe. It's a German title. And our singer Andy wants to do a second part of this song, a new song, Notzucht der Hexe Part 2. And uh, we go together through a walk with our dogs in the woods. And uh, then we talk about the idea to do an, an EP with four or a maximum of five songs with a little bit uh, witching thematics. And uh, with this idea in my head starts a film and the film get bigger and bigger and we get a whole big story. And uh, then we say, okay, let us do a whole album. And the special of the album is it's uh, like a, a theater uh, scenes. You have different characters in the story and uh, I had the idea to ask different singers that every character of the story got his own singer. And so we had uh, 10 different singers on this album. Tell us that's what's, what's the, so special on this album. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. How did you choose which 10 singers you wanted to have on the album? Uh, we ask uh, singers uh, that we are uh, friends with, and then we want to have some singers that inspired us when we were younger, and then we take uh, trash metal singers because we uh, don't want to have an album where you have only death metal singers, when you you don't know oh what singer sings this song, what singer sings this song. So you hear the songs and you can, every char character you hear, okay, this is this singer, this is another singer, this is another singer. And so we ask uh, some trash metal legends from Germany, uh, Gero from Tankard, Sabina Glasen from Holy Moses and Dirk Weiss from Warpath that are all uh, great influences for our singer when he was young or when, when we was younger. Um, and we asked them and they say, okay, we will do it. And Wrath of the Witch is that what we get. What was that like for you as a songwriter, getting those tracks back with different singers on it? What was it like listening to, to their interpretation of the track? It was fantastic because you get... Uh, Sometimes not all songs, but a lot of songs you get. Uh, it's totally different what you have in your mind, in your head when you when when we wrote the lyrics. We have our, our singing line, and we gave the songs to the singer and say, "Do your thing. Here's the text. You you can do what you want." And uh, it is fantastic to hear what the singers do with the songs. They all give them their own note. They all do 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 uh, their, their own thing and that's uh, it's fantastic to work with with so great singers. You mentioned the, it. the only thing is uh, the only thing is you have to wait uh, very long to get the the singer part. This is uh, what you when you do such an album, you must know you have to wait. 
Was that a nervous wait, or were you excited to hear what came through? Uh, not nervous, not excited. Wow, you you were in in a mood where you think, oh, when we get it, we won't hear it, and then you wait and wait. This was the time. The problem was, um, especially by uh, Gera and Sabina Tengard and also Holy Moses was in the studio and promote their new albums and Tengard was on tour and because of that they had not the time to do it directly so we wait uh, one year to get their parts but the waiting uh, it was okay that what we get is fantastic and we we fucking love it you mentioned earlier that when you were writing this album it, it felt like a, a film or theater as the story went on what what was that like for you as a writer sitting down and, and writing this story and watching it get bigger and bigger and bigger? It's it's f- fantastic. It was it's you I I have the idea to make the whole album and the guys say yeah that we can do. Then I ask our singer and say Andy it is okay for you when we get uh, uh, for every character uh, own singer and he say. Yeah, I like this idea. Let us do it. And it's uh, it's fantastic to see to, to, that something grow from a little idea to something like that that we now have with uh, Wrath of the Witch. Would you ever do more with the story? Would you turn it into a film or a, a novel or or something like that? No, it was only the idea for, for the album. It, it works like a film in my head. When I had the idea for this story, I think it will be a good film, but uh, I think for that it's n- not good enough to make a good mo- movie that uh, everyone will see. For me, for me, it's enough when the people want to hear our album and take the booklet and read the lyrics to say, wow, that's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> Now, with the album coming out, uh, what are your plans for the band going forward? Are you hoping to get out and do some shows or a tour? What are the plans? Uh, the main plan is to get a lot of money and get a rock star and get a helicopter so that we can fly from show to show. <laughs> it's a master plan and that we don't must go to work. But I think uh, when we will get realistic, we uh, do some shows we want that the people have fun with us, with our music, with our shows. And I think that's that's okay. That's enough for us. Definitely. Well, Sasha, we are going to listen to a track from the album now. So what would you like to say to all of our listeners before they go out and grab a copy of this amazing album? Hear the album. It's fantastic. You, you will love it. I hope you will love it like the way we love it. You can hear it. 10,000 times, it will not get boring. Hear the music, love it. Give us a like on Facebook and have a fantastic fucking day or night.